Okay, good morning and welcome back to Area 31. It is my first day off and my work week is over. Thank the Lord, it was horrible, awful, hot, too busy, too many hours and all the rest. But that's over with now, so now we're going to fly. I'm going to just take off, uh, we saved it right here at the east entrance of the Grand Canyon. And we're going to fly to the Grand Canyon West, which is going to be the the big area of it. And uh, where the big Grand Canyon Village is going to be at and all that stuff. So anyway, we're just going to follow the river. So let's go ahead and click ready to fly and get this thing started. And here we are. Uh, here really quick. Yep, we're just going to follow the... Colorado River. Well, it's been about 10 minutes or so, and this is extremely beautiful, for sure, even though it's a game. It's just extremely beautiful. You see, it's opening up a lot wider. Well, we're trying to, of course, maintain about 5,000 feet. 5,500 or so. So I'm going to stay down there, but I've got to be careful because these <laughs> cliff edges kind of creep up on you really fast. Uh, it is extremely beautiful. All right, looking pretty interesting up ahead. It's been about another 10 minutes, and we're like 4,500 feet. So we need to get up there a little bit. Yeah, it hasn't been all that exciting. Just kind of following the river here. Well, it's exactly what I'm doing. But, uh, it should open up great big, huge, wide, but I think we're still going to be quite a ways from that. It's hard to tell. By, uh, there's <laughs> absolutely no landmarks. I can't track myself on Google Earth with the Italy because it all looks the same. <laughs> but uh, this sure is beautiful, isn't it? Sure is. That's all from this direction. Wow, that's like a big trench, isn't it? Oh man. Look at that. That's an interesting looking trench, I guess. That's the only thing I can call it. And I need to get back on the track here. I need to make a hard left, but I need to get some elevation. All right, another 10 or probably close to 15 or maybe more minutes have went by, and the canyons just kind of become like this. The river is down there, and I can tell quite easily. You can see it there, but mostly you can see it over there on that right screen. That is super, super duper extra handy to have that. But uh, it's just, uh, it's really, it's really narrow now. Uh, looking around here, sorry, I know this button is so sensitive. You can see the uh, canyons there, but the, the river is just gouging its way through there, isn't it? Okay, I was able to finally get a landmark and figure out where I'm at. I am more than halfway through this and I am coming upon Grand Canyon Grand Canyon National Park where it says it on Google Earth and Grand Canyon Village which I guess is the main place where uh, people go to view the Grand Canyon I guess. So anyway I want to get some altitude here I was able to identify where I was at by just looking, finding this, this little, I'm trying to left hand mouse here, um, trying to, I was able to identify it by locating this on Google Earth, so the, um, <clears throat> we can open this up a little bit farther, and uh, anyway, so the main part of it seems to be right here, where am I, oh, I 
Couldn't tell. See, when you're looking at that, it looks like I'm about to crash. So, so uh, I don't know where elevation's dropping to. So I need to get up in elevation. Because this should be like the prettiest, nicest looking area. I don't know if I'm going to get the kind of view that I'm expecting to get. Because this looks like where it's like the most wide area. So I really want to climb. Let's climb. I'm going to continue climbing here. Alright, I am climbing. My airspeed is down. I'm up to over a thousand feet. Pardon me, 10,000 feet. And uh, you can see on the very left bottom corner, we got that same screen in a small area. But you can see we're flying through the canyon. But we're flying pretty, pretty slowly. So this is what I wanted. I wanted to get this view. So I'm going to go ahead and start letting off the stick. And we'll just take a look around. So the village is over there, I guess. Look at this. Look at that spectacular river course of right down there. This is like probably the biggest viewing area, I guess. I don't know. If somebody knows differently. Uh, please comment down below. Isn't this spectacular? Yeah, so that so they built the village area over here, I would assume this is like the headquarters of the park. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, unfortunately, I am leaving the Grand Canyon area. I am heading almost dead north, uh, quite north, pretty close. Still following the Colorado River, as you can see there, and it's been really nice. <laughs> I've enjoyed the Grand Canyon a lot. You can see it back there, it's great big and huge and just gigantic. So now we're going to continue and take the pause off. And we're going to continue up here for another, I would guess, 30 miles or something just looking at Google Earth and we're going to get up here so far and the, the canyons is going to narrow more and more and become more like a river. We'll get up here to what's called Marble Canyon and at that point we will come upon Interstate. Oh what is it? It's so small I can't read it. 89. Interstate 89, it's going to cross the river. And at that point, I need to take a dead east heading and we'll uh, be heading, I don't know, some 50, 60 miles or more, probably. Oh, maybe even longer than that. We'll be heading to Interstate 163. And this, uh, this big bend in the river is going to come right back. It's, uh, I can show you right here. You see that? <laughs> we're just going to rejoin it. So we're going to take the shortcut across the big bend in the river. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, we will be heading east, I would guess close to 100 miles, and hitting... Interstate 163, is that what that says? 163, and that's going to be heading north. And I'm just going to be a few miles or so from, as we rejoin the river here, from the uh, Arizona-Utah border in a place called Olato Monument Valley. So we will be entering Monument Valley as soon as we get... In fact, it looks like it might even start before... I get to Interstate 163, so that's the plan. So hopefully, 
today before I get all burned out and tired and don't want to fly anymore we can get all the way to Interstate 63. Okay, I've reached this area where the 89, is it the 89? It's the 89. Interstate 89 crosses over the Colorado River right there. So we are done with the Colorado River and of course the Grand Canyon. So now we're going to make a hard right turn and we're going to head about a hundred miles in my estimation or so. And we're going to head directly east. So let's get ourselves set up here for 90, 90 degrees. Oh, anyway, it's going to take some work, obviously, to get it right at east. But um, that's where we're heading now. So it should take. I'm going to have to get some elevation going here. Uh, we'll be heading east to Interstate 163. We should run smack dab into it. There should be nothing. There should be two more interstates that will cross. But they're going to be pretty quick. They're probably going to be within t 25 miles. You know, from what I'm seeing on Google Earth. I don't know how to actually calculate that. But, um, Interstate 163 is going to be far, far to the east. Okay, it's the last video of the day. I have been kind of lost <laughs> for a while. When I took off from the Colorado River and started heading west, started heading east, pardon me. It, that was about an hour and a half ago. Uh, I just went way, ended up going way south. I guess I wasn't right on heading directly east. I thought I was. According to Google Earth, I was. But anyway, I ended up heading way south and couldn't find where the heck I was at for the longest time, but I finally did. I finally got on to 160, Interstate 160, and then I followed it all the way up to Kenyenta and got on the 163 interstate and I've been following that north ever since and I am just about to the place where I thought I would originally join the 163 so now I'm finally there it just took a great deal of time so anyway uh, I stopped the video it's froze up here I paused it and um, that's where we're going to leave it, and I'll come back tomorrow and restart it right here. You might be able to see that we're kind of entering the uh, Monument Valley area, it would appear. Even uh, even back there is one. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to flying through the Monument Valley area in Arizona and Utah. And we will do that first thing tomorrow. So that's going to be it for now.